What up guys, I found a video. I found it really interesting because the level of corruption from this chief of police who gets fired is crazy, crazy, crazy. And him and his daughter were both in on this. Let's have a look. District opened its investigation. Homie, hold on. Your investigator, Brian Moss, has been tracking this story now for almost a year. So what is the district attorney? In court document. What? Do you see that it won't let me rewind? We do begin tonight with breaking news on CBS News Colorado at 6 o'clock. The mayor and police chief of Lakeside has been indicted on multiple felony charges along with his daughter, the town's clerk. Now this comes after CBS Colorado's investigation into corruption into that small community on the northwest side of Denver. In fact, CBS Colorado's reporting is named in court documents as the reason the first judicial district opened its investigation. Your investigator, Brian Moss, has been tracking this story now for almost a year. So what is the district attorney saying? Did you hear this guy uh, pat himself on the back real quick? Because of our reporting, that's kind of hilarious. About this case, Brian. They just I do that a shit statement too. really within the last couple of hours as the story has just been breaking. That statement saying that the mayor and his daughter are facing numerous felony charges for crimes they allegedly committed between 2019 and 2023. Bob Gordonier, who is still the police chief in Lakeside and the mayor pro tem, was charged with seven counts by the grand jury, including theft, embezzlement, and official misconduct. His daughter, Brenda oh, Hamilton, the town clerk, facing 10 counts of theft, embezzlement, official misconduct, and impersonating a police officer. Our Wait a minute. Four counts of embezzlement of public property, one count of theft, one count of impersonating a peace officer, four counts of first degree official misconduct. <whistles> Damn. How did she get there to be so emboldened, right, to be able to do this? How did she get there mentally, the chief of police? How did he get there mentally to be so corrupt and not have to worry about getting busted? <laughs> Who's going to arrest me, right? Investigation last year found Gordon near selling town vehicles to his daughter for way below market value. Sometimes she was buying cars for hundreds of dollars that were worth thousands of dollars more. She then resold them on the open market, according to our investigation, Whoa. for big profits. Prosecutors also say Hamilton used a town credit card to buy items that she kept for herself. Gordon Neer turns, turned himself into the Jeffco jail today. He was released on a $25,000 PR bond. His daughter turned herself in earlier this week. Her first court appearance is August 2nd. So action by the Jeffco DA's office following up on the investigation that we did last year. Hmm. Interesting, Brian. Thanks for following it, too. And I know there's more. Lake side, Colorado. Police chief asshole. What a jerk. So this is going on in Lakeside, Colorado. We're going to go ahead and turn this over to Carly Moore. Uh, Carly, you want to tell us more about what's going on? Good morning. Yeah, there is a handful of charges, kind of a laundry list, really. And it seems like it was a family affair. The crimes really starting over the last four years. Just now, this indictment coming down. Here's what you need to know this morning. You can see that long list of the indictments and the charges here. So Robert Joel Gordonier was mayor, police chief and fire chief for the small town of Lakeside, while his daughter, Brenda Renee Hamilton, was the town clerk. Now, this was a formal accusation of charge. Damn. Hold on a minute, Carly. Uh, what we want to talk about here is making sure that you guys who are watching on the San Joaquin Valley Transparency Channel, what we do that some of these mainstream news channels don't do is offer you the information to put the pressure on. So we're going to go ahead and put it here on the screen. We're going to leave some phone numbers for, you know, the mayor, city council members to make sure that they know and understand that we the people are watching and it's not just a news segment that's going to go away, you're going to get swept under the rug because there's a difference between social media and mainstream. We keep the shit alive. We put the information so that we, the people, 
can call and redress our grievances. As a matter of fact, I would like to encourage all mainstream media in, that does news coverage regarding departments and stuff, try to put the information there. It's public information anyways. Give people their Facebook links, give people their address to write letters, which websites to go on to make complaints, the, the phone numbers for the departments. I think if you guys would include that in your news segments, it would create more change. And I think the people would know how to put the pressure on and how to use part of the First Amendment of the Constitution, which is not just freedom of press, what we all do, but freedom to redress your grievances. Part of that is letting them know uh, what we feel about their actions and not just let it get swept under the rug. That's what's amazing about our videos because a year from now, somebody might watch this video and say, hey, I think I'm going to call the department. So sometimes our videos, they, they keep it alive and they finally get tired of that shit. And they're like, you know what? We need to get rid of this bad cop or this bad public official because we don't want the people to continue to call and keep you know, putting the pressure on. So mainstream media news outlets, you heard it here first. And I hope that you guys can include this into your news segments is put the information there so that people can call and redress their grievances. Sorry, Carly, back to you. Element of public property, theft, and official misconduct. Investigators say the police chief used city money to buy cars at police auctions. Then, according to the indictments, he would sell the cars for just hundreds of dollars to his daughter, Brenda Hamilton. She would sell the cars at market price and allegedly keep the cash. This apparently happened three times. Hamilton is accused of also impersonating a peace officer while driving a police car. They face 17 counts combined, including 10 felony charges. Now, according to the DA's office, both the accused former town employees surrendered to the police this week and were released on $25,000 bonds. The investigation began back in November of 2023 after a media report of misconduct allegations. Hamilton was placed on administrative leave in November and Jordanier remained the police chief but resigned as mayor in April. So they are set to be in court August 2nd and August 6th. Now again, an indictment, just kind of the beginning steps of the process. We'll keep you posted on how this all pans out. Live in Lakeside, Carly Moore, Fox 31. Yeah, we'll be. Thank you, Carly. So check this out, folks. I'm really glad that this chief of police got caught and his daughter as well. It seems like they have a shit ton of evidence against them. And I think this is good. Because if you think that this is an isolated incident, it's not. There's a reason why, like I said earlier, this chief was emboldened and, and felt that there's no accountability um, because he's probably done stuff like this for a long time. He's probably done it with people that are not family, that are other cops. I mean, he looks hella old. How the hell does he still have that position? He looks... There was a city council member who was involved in beautifying the city and he was in charge of ordering flowers and where to place them and stuff like that but there was a shit ton of money spent on these flowers right and then when someone kind of started adding up like what they may have spent on flowers and they went to like a place that charged for flowers and got like the highest highest price range they counted flowers and they're like what doesn't even, even if we bought the most expensive flowers, these flowers don't add up to what the taxpayers paid. So when they asked about it, they were like, oh, well, a lot of the flowers died. So the, we had no choice but to throw them away, right? Is that possible? That's probably possible. But even then, it's like it doesn't, doesn't add up. So was their money pocketed in that transaction? Possibly. Can anyone prove it? Probably not. And this is this type of stuff is happening everywhere. Just look at what this chief of police is doing. Using our hard-earned dollars, right? Many of you guys put on your construction boots and hard hats. Many you truckers get on the road. Your backs are messed up. Many waitresses, you know, uh, serving people their plates of food. Hairdressers. Everybody out there working that pays taxes in this country. This is what we're paying for for cops to 
find a way to steal from us and pocket that shit. Like I said, I'm glad that this chief of police got caught and that this news agency is reporting on this. Thank you guys for that. But I think that this right here should really open the doors to investigating what's happening. Misappropriation of funds in every city, every town. And this is why auditing was so important to be able to educate public officials, cops, government, that we the people have the right to go into our government installations and request records, ask questions, demand answers, and to be able to record and document it so that we can show the people what's going on. Uh, Hey, mainstream media, you guys had the opportunity to do this and to educate everyone and to empower everyone. Um, You guys don't hold a monopoly on press. Freedom of press is part of the First Amendment. It's important that everybody knows and understands that they are journalists, they are members of the press. Anybody can go in public, especially our government installations, go in there and ask questions, demand answers, and record your transaction, record your business, because government is a business. And you should treat it like it. You, they're, they look at you as a client, touching whatever they can make off of you, from you, or from the tax dollars. It's either going to be taken away from you and get paid to these installations, whether you like it or not. So it's important that we demand where that money is going and make sure that that shit don't happen. And I hope this chief of police gets freaking thrown under the jail Send him to San Quentin Prison in California. When you send him to San Quentin Prison, when he dies there, he has to be buried there. <clears throat> Make an example out of this, Chief, right? Carly, thank you so much for your uh, news reporting. And yeah, guys, well, I think I've said all I had to say regarding this punk-ass Chief and his dirty-ass, you know, thievery, him and his crooked-ass daughter. Get them the both the hell out of there. The rest of you guys out there in Lakewood, Colorado, clean that shit up. Man, I just I just went to Colorado. I enjoyed my time there. You know what I like about Colorado and dislike about California? You know, a lot of people say that Denver is different, but I did spend a little time in Denver, and I, I did see all the, uh, was it downtown, where I seen all the tagging and the art on the walls and everything. I thought that was pretty cool. But I did travel throughout Denver. It was amazing. We went through all the mountains. We went up, stopped in Uray, went to Glenwood, Colorado, you know, the hot springs. It was really fun over there. I did record some cops over there. And like I, like I was saying, one of the things I, I recognized was that the people of Colorado love their state and they don't throw trash out of the windows in the parking lots. They don't eat their food and throw it in the parking lot like disgusting pigs. You come back to California, and whether you fly in, if you fly into LAX, you're going to see some of the most filthiest shit ever leaving that airport, wherever you drive. And um, and no matter where you go, up and down California, whether you're on the 99, the I-5, the 101 along the beaches, you're going to see trash everywhere. It's absolutely disgusting. Well, it looks like Lakeside, Colorado is cleaning up their trash because that chief of police and his daughter is straight garbage. So good job, Lakeside, Colorado. Get rid of your trash. Uh, Thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys on the next one. Peace.